folks, we're back again here at Kenzone and the eagle-eyed among you would notice that the tires are back on well actually the wheels are back on with new tires uh, Rovelo's 175-50-15s I gotta say the white wheels look really nice on this blue body and oh yes, the more eagle-eyed would have noticed this yes, I need to get this painted the new door handle at the back is in and it works works beautifully on the inside here the new glove box uh, latch is already in and yes it works yeah my, my savvy uh, um, what brochure and uh, service manual inside there the inside has been cleaned up a little bit you can see there's a new oil pump that's gone in there fuel pump I mean yeah a bit excited losing losing track of stuff but wow with the new wheels nice job Ken well done well done nice I love the wheels oh he's got his trademark a little bit of gold emblem inside <laughs> very very nice like what he did with my uh, waja so there you go that's what it looks like with the wheels on so Ken currently now you're doing the fan belt because timing belt is already done yeah yeah done. okay and you were saying something about the uh, ECU what happened with yeah. the ECU uh, inside the tip is gone already so it can be fixed yeah so you heard that here folks you can fix your ECU you don't have to replace it it can actually be fixed there we go brand new battery has gone in already so the ECU is inside here and that's been fixed now they're doing the fan belt and timing belt was already done yeah, yeah? Already timing done. belts already done very very cool so as you can see very nice update lots going on yep the engine is starting to look more like an engine now once the uh, air box is in and everything there's the hose for it up there very very cool oh they stuck my uh, bebe up there I'm so happy I've got a door handle here that I can open the door now Yo, there's the Savvy Bear hanging on the windshield. Oh, sorry, on the uh, rearview mirror. Look at that. So, okay. Now let's go and have a look at the seats. The seats were really bad, yeah, Ken? The seats were very dirty, yeah? Yeah, outside. Oh, on the outside. Okay, let's go. Oh, hey, check it out. So, that's the grandpa. That's the grandson. Nice. So, where are my seats? Let's go have a look. Where are my seats? Ah, there they are. I can actually see some blue. Yes, I can see some blue in the seats. Earlier, I couldn't see the blue. <laughs> very, very nice. So they're drying out now. It's not too sunny today. So, uh, yeah, they're still, they're still a bit damp. But uh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. So the seats have been washed. They're probably gonna give it a second wash, I think. But look at that. It's still in really good condition. Very, very nice. Yep, there you go, folks. Original savvy seats. These are two fronts, the base of the two rear, the back of the two rears. Very cool. So there she is. Wow. So much to be done. Really, really, so much to be done. But she's getting there. And now that all my other projects are pretty much done, uh, the saga of the saga is at its conclusion. She's running so beautifully. Mwah, mwah. So happy with this car. So now I can concentrate, or rather we here can concentrate on the savvy. Just do a quick... Wow. Those wheels, they just match so nicely. Four brand new Rovelo tires. And the next step will be, of course, to start the car. The car has not been started, yeah. So it cranks, but we were having an issue with the, is this closed? Yeah, good. We were having issues with the uh, fuel pump. So they washed out the fuel tank. They put in a new fuel pump. It's, it's down there somewhere. And hopefully that sorts out the issue. Because remember, this car has not been driven for quite some time doors still open and shut pretty well though quite happy about that so yeah getting there getting there hello Savvy hello Savvy bear you doing okay over there yeah just hanging around huh <laughs> nice ah on this side as well very very cool so she's coming along yeah I think the last thing I'll do is get this polished so that we can see the uh, the Proton logo and the Tiger, the Harimau in there. 
like what they've done for the front brilliant so stay tuned lots more to come the fact that they've already put in a new battery that means we're getting close to the end really we're getting close to starting this car and I am so excited to hear it crank to life you're gonna be here with me I will actually record from start to finish the uh, the starting of this car because this car has not really started in four four years I don't know maybe, maybe the previous owner might have just started it and let it warm up a little bit and turn it off but uh, I know it's not been driven in a very long time and you will be here with me for that the actual first drive but let's start this car first Ken awesome job thank you so much yes stay tuned folks lots more to come the saga of the savvy continues since the saga of the saga is at its end kind of sad because it was really fun as you can see I done the tint already so they match all around now car looks beautiful absolutely beautiful okay so that's it for now more to come I'll be back at you soon take care y'all thanks for watching and do subscribe if you haven't and hit that like it helps it really does yeah take care y'all bye and maybe something you didn't know yes he's checking fault codes for the savvy anything major bro Cranking, still cranking. I smell uh, petrol, bro. First attempt, unsuccessful. Let's see what happens. shooting going on now he's actually checking the fuses even to see if anything's burnt yeah he's checking the fuse box there wow this is intense very very intense holy cow she's alive she's alive oh my god She's alive! Yes! <laughs> and she sounds smooth! Oh! Well done, boys! Well done! Well done! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! She's alive! Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah! A lot of smoke, dude! <laughs> wow! But she sounds healthy. Sounds very healthy. This is what, just burning off the excess? Ah? Yeah, maybe long part of the day. Right, right, right. I smell some oil. I smell some oil burning. That's just the yeah. what's inside there, right? Oh, but she's alive. We need a fan. We need a fan to get all the... Oh, this is amazing. Yes, we got a fog machine going on. The accelerator pedal is smooth. And she idles well. Nice. This is all the excess oil that has dripped. Yeah. That's burning, right? Well, there you have it, folks. She's alive. Oh, man. First time I'm hearing the engine run and it, run and it sounds really good. She's alive. She's alive. Wow. Just clearing her throat. A lot less uh, smoke now. 
She was just clearing her throat like a <coughs> like that. Mm. Tachometer works, tachometer works. Yes. So cool. Oh, today is a good day. Wheels are back on and she started up. Oh, you did some uh, artistic work on the cover as well. <laughs> nice bro yeah and that's it's just how it fits in just like that so yeah let all the uh, excess oil because remember the the engine was pretty much taken out almost taken out some excess oil dropped at the back so it's just burning it off as you can see from the back the exhaust is okay it's not so bad. Just clearing your throat. I hope. But she's alive, folks. She's alive. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm kind of beside myself right now. Awesome, awesome. Stay tuned, folks. Lots more to come. Yes, she's alive. Wonderful. At least I know the engine runs. Everything else after this is gravy. So, let's take a look at the inside. What's working? So, yep, I know now my mileage is 184,476. There's the lights. Okay, temperature gauge is working. Petrol gauge is working, handbrake warning light is working, door warning light is working. Check out the power windows. Please be working, please be working. Yes, thank you. The power windows still work. The other side, please, 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 please. Yes, the other side works. Wonderful. And uh, the rear is, of course, wind ups, which is fine. Yes, very, very nice. So, as you can see, that's all new. Well, Reconned anyway from the from the previous hunt of the uh, parts the savvy parts you can uh, scroll down through my videos in the playlist to see the okay horn test horn test horn test yeah working <laughs> oh that's lovely that's lovely let's check out the lights okay so we've got rear lights yes working very well and we can check out the uh, headlights oh sorry to blind you yes the headlights are nice there we go nice 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 yes so by and large electrically this car is working quite well so I'll turn that off and, uh, nice very nice. And look how big the cabin is with, without the seats in it. And I just showed you the seats just now over here. And once they are dry, they will go in. But yeah, a little bit of cleaning up. And I've already put on this. So there's the aircon in the middle. Testing now. Yeah, the blower is working. And it's getting cold. Slowly. Brought on my icon has to be fantastic even though she's got a french heart yes this car is from france no it's not it's from tanger Malin. but if you know the power train of this car this is a french car it's, uh, it's got a little is a proton with a little je ne sais quoi belle beautiful yes the icon is cold the icon is cold yeah <laughs> so I don't have to I don't have to change the compressor I don't have to rebuild the aircon like what I did with the saga the aircon is cool it's so nice 
very nice, very nice, very nice. 184,476 kilometers, which is not bad for a 2006 car. Not bad at all. Very, very happy. Lovely. That one's amazing. That one's damn cold, way. Love it. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yes, and I've got the radio working as well. Nice. 104.7, please, sir. Light and easy. 104.9. Okay, the clock is working as well. So how do you how do you uh, reset the clock? So the trip is at zero zero. You press this, it will uh, reset the trip. This is the Odo. So it, in order to uh, change the clock, this is how I do it in my Waja. So I'm not sure. You go to the odometer, you press and hold, and the clock should start. There we go. Two, three, four, five. What time is it? It's oh, it's not five yet. Okay. So, uh, it's 50, 52, there we go, and that again, press and hold, oh, too much, so, I've got tunes as well, thank you. 5.7, yeah, that's it. Light and easy. Because I'm a light and easy kind of guy. And that's a CD player. So let's see if the CD works or not later. Very nice. Everything is working. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So it's actually 4.53. Oh, press and hold. I went past it again. Oh, it's a 24 hour clock. Okay, so I've got to go to 16. 15, 16. There we go. 453. Temperature is holding steady at 3 bar, which is half, which is, I think, perfect. Just nice. And I'm sitting in here with the aircon on and it works. And yes, the one light works as well. Hey, even the bear is smiling. He's happy. Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Awesome! Lovely, lovely. Sorry? More, no more white smoke? Yes! There we go. I'm surprised nobody's asked what's the number plate for this car yet. Oh! Hazard lights work! Hazard light working! Nice! Press the brake! Let's see if the brake works. Aha! See if the brake lights work. Oh yeah, all three, all three. <laughs> nice, nice. Thanks, bro. Uh, so yeah, electrically this car is okay. And I shall be doing uh, a test on these Rovelo tires. So four new Rovelo tires, ah, uh, Ken. Nice. Cool. Drum brakes at the rear, disc brakes in front. Hopefully that's just uh, aircon water. Stay. Here we go. Don't want to waste aircon gas. Nice. So I don't know which car this came from, but thank you so much because now I have a rear door handle and I'm very, very happy about that. Very cool. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. Yes.
Howdy folks, I'm back again and yes, I just remembered after cutting from the Savvy video that one of you actually asked, uh, I can't remember who it was, somebody actually asked what does Ken's W210 engine look like after, after, do, after he did my Waja? So here's the 210, you can scroll down through my videos and you can actually see I've, I've already reviewed this car, WMT1200. Let's have a look at the engine bay. So it's been parked here for quite some time and it's gorgeous still, very gorgeous. He's got new rims on it. Very, very, very cool. He's done the tint already. It's absolutely lovely. But let's have a look at the engine. One, two, oh, heavy bonnet. Look at that. Can you imagine that this car is actually 20 years old? Look at that. Gorgeous. Yes, Mercedes Benz. You know what? You should make this into yellow like what he did for my Waja. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. Of course, that is new. Um, I think the old one was uh, cracked, so he bought a new one. But by and large, for 20 years now, I mean, this car is older than my Waja, yeah? Look at the engine. So gorgeous. Now, before you ask, no, this car is not for sale. Okay, so sorry, but no, it's not for sale. Uh, he's actually doing up this car to give it to his dad as a present. How cool is that? So nice. You know, I'll be honest with you, when the 210 first came out with the, uh, what we call the big eye, small eye, <laughs> I was not very convinced that this car was gonna do well. But 20 years later, look at that. The design has just blossomed. I've grown to love this design, this, this strong silhouette. And yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous because look at the way the, the back curves in yeah it's so nice you know one car that does not have this nice proportions is the two-door variant of this the uh what was it called the cls the older cls yeah where it was very big at the back and then it tapered off too small to the front so yeah that one looked a bit lopsided this one looks brilliant look at that clk i think it was clk yeah sorry look at this so nice and uh, so there you go you wanted to see the engine and now you can so yeah when I went really quick that way just now like this it looked like a BMW didn't it <laughs> E38 wow very very nice I love this car I've actually asked him about four times to sell it to me but uh, no he won't and yeah he's polished the headlights as well they were very very faded before and now they look much much better so there you go hope you enjoyed that take care y'all thanks for watching bye